Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Pure Biology and uh, today I come with another uh, video that is the endocytosis. Okay, endocytosis is uh, the topic related to the cell biology and uh, obviously uh, this is the topic uh, from plasma membrane. Okay, the function of plasma membrane you can say and uh, this is very a short topic and I will try to describe it very briefly. Okay. So, uh, endocytosis is what? Endocytosis means the internalization of the surrounding material. Okay. Internalization of surrounding materials. This is called the endocytosis. Here, uh, we will learn about the catherine, catherine mediated endocytosis. Catherine mediated endocytosis. First of all, we have to know what is the catherine. This is this clathrin generally it consists of three copies, three copies of heavy chain and light chain. This is one kind of you can substance. You can see the one kind of substance or that helps in endocytosis. So here the structure, brief structure is like that, and these are the light chains and these are the heavy chain, and here the dot like structure, these are called the terminal globular domain so three copies of heavy chain and light chain that forming three legged structure okay and this is called the triskelion this is called triskelion okay sorry so what is called the catherine this is a three legged structure and it consisting of light chain and heavy chain and terminal globular domain okay and it is called the triskelion so these are generally assembly of the polygonal lattice and assemble this is assemble okay assemble into a basket like convex framework of hexagon and pentagons to form coat okay so it is a polygonal lattice and that remain within the basket of what hexagon or pentagons and that form actually the core of this catholic molecule okay so catholic molecule that remains within a coat like structure and assembles into coats on the cytoplasmic side of the plasma membrane by interacting with adapter proteins so these are attached with the plasma membrane by some adapter protein complex like ap1 ap2 ap3 and ap4 okay and each of four are localized to different intercellular compartment not remain in the same uh, same place they remain in the different places so this is the one kind of molecule that helps in uh, endocytosis and there that remain attached with the plasma membrane with the help of the adapter proteins clear so how this uh, endocytosis is possible with the help of this uh, and uh, this uh, catherine molecule this is actually when the macromolecules bind to the cell surface receptors accumulate in the catherine coated piece and enter the cell as receptor and ligand complexes in the catherine coated vesicles so what is happening here first macromolecules that bind to the cell surface receptor and accumulate in the catherine coated piece okay bind to the cell surface receptor first bind with the cell surface receptors that is Suppose this is the uh, dot, this is the content that binds with the cell surface receptors or this is the receptor. So, this binds with the receptor and then receptor and all the content totally pinch off from the, with the catherine uh, uh, coated uh, endocytic vesicle that pinch off from the plasma membrane. Clear? And what happened? Uh, this is the example of the LDL and LDL receptor. First LDL bound to LDL receptor. LDL is one content that bound to the LDL receptor 
and this LDL receptor and LDL contain that totally pinch off with the platelet coated endocytic vesicle. And this endocytic vesicle without coat, that means the coat is released from this endocytic vesicle. First, the coat is released from the endocytic vesicle, and then the content with endosome is released, and the receptor that again that form or that again uh, move towards the plasma membrane. Okay, so here this total thing that is uh, LDL and LDL receptors that uh, total thing is possible with the help of one molecule dynamine. Okay, dynamine is a cytosolic protein that is very essential to release the complete vesicle. And this polymerizes and at the neck portion and hydrolyzes GTP. Okay, here GTP, why it is very important? Because without GTP, energy is never produced. And this energy, why it is needed? Because it helps in the final pinch off. Okay, another important chaperon uh, protein molecule that is the HSP selective. Here act as important role for uncoating the, uh, it acts like the ATPs and it helps in uncoating, okay. And the peel of the clattering coat, okay. So what is uh, saying that, first of all, the dynamic is very important. This is the cytosolic protein and this actually, this uh, functions to first polymerize and hydrolyzes GTP because here, the ATP is needed for the pinch of final pinch of it is attached uh, with the plasma membrane and it has to be released uh, from the plasma membrane as a vesicle. Okay, and the coat is totally uh, shaded by another uh, another chaperon molecules that is the HSP70. It acts as the ATPs and it helps this clattering coat. Clear. And the vesicle now deliver their contents to the early endosomes and in low pH LDL is released from its receptor via late endosomes and the lysosomes degrade there. That means low, when the pH is very low then this uh, LDL, this content is LDL, this is released from the receptor to form the late endosome. Uh, and this receptor that uh, moves to the plasma membrane. So here this is the uh, endocytosis process of the plasma membrane or it is the function of endocytosis process of the plasma membrane uh, with the help of one molecule that is called the clathrin molecule and here the example uh, I have taken that is the LDL and LDL receptor and this coat is the clathrin coat. Okay. So, this is very brief uh, structure I have drawn here and uh, briefly this topic is uh, I just try to describe you. You just, uh, you just consult any book just after seeing this uh, description. Okay. So, thank you and continue with me and my channel. Okay. And support me by sharing this channel and subscribing this channel. Thank you.